Hi all, let's see what is associative property, what is commutative property. So associative property basically means that if you have an operation star and this star will be called associative if for all elements, whatever three elements you take, same or different, for all a comma b comma c, this should happen that okay a star b star c means if you do this first star or if you do this second star first, both must be same. So this is called associative property. And commutative property means a star b should be equal to b star a for all a comma b. So this is the definition of associative and commutative property. So remember this is your commutative property means you have okay. So whether you do x star y or whether you do y star x they must be same okay for all x comma y whatever x comma y I take this should always happen that x star y is equal to y star x. This is called commutative property. Okay, so this is your commutative property means for all x comma y, whatever x comma y, whatever two elements you take, always it should happen that x star y is equal to y star x. Okay, so I can say commutative means you have a set, you have a set and you have some operation. This is your binary operation. This can be any operation, this can be any base set. This is your base set, this should be non empty. So you have a non empty base set and you have this binary operation. So when can I say that star is commutative? When can I say that a star is commutative? A star is commutative if and only if, if and only if, for all a comma b, whatever two elements you take, same or different, for all a comma b, this should happen that a star b is equal to b star a. Okay, so this would always happen. This is the definition of commutative property. For all a comma b, this should happen. Okay, next is associative property. Associative property means that, okay, whether you do, whether you first do x star y, so here what you are doing, first you are doing x star y, then you are doing x star y, uh, with this x star y you are doing star z. Or, or you do y star z and then you perform operation with x. So this would always be same, means whether you do this, this first or whether you do this first, okay, the result always should be same. Okay, for all x comma y comma z this would happen. So then we will say that this is associative property. So if you have a set and this is your operation, this can be any binary operation. Binary operation means closure property. So this can be any closed operation and this is your base set. Then I can say that for all x comma y comma z, this should happen. Okay, that x star y star z, this should be equal to x star y star z. Okay, so they must be same. So this is the definition of closure property. For example, you can notice that this addition this addition operation on natural on integers on integers this addition operation is uh, is associative because i can say that if you have three elements if you take any three elements any three elements you take then you can notice this expression is equal to this expression this will always happen any three elements you take same or different you can take same or you can take different for example if i take two two three okay then you can clearly see that Okay, this, these two expressions are same. I can say this expression and this expression, they are same. So I can say addition, you can notice this addition, multiplication, these are associative. These operations are associative. They are commutative also. These operations are commutative also. So these are associative also. These are commutative also. Why these are commutative? Because you can notice A plus B is equal to B plus A. And also A multiplied by B is equal to B multiplied by A. So these are associative and commutative. So which operations are not associative? So you can notice subtraction operation is not associative. For example, if you have 5, 3, 2, then you can notice this is not same as this. So subtraction is not associative. This division operation is also not associative. And this exponentiation, this is also not associative. So these are not associative operations. You can notice this subtraction. This is not commutative also. So I can say, okay, this same thing you can do here. Basically, these are non non commutative operation also. So which are non-commutative operation I can say. So these operations are not commutative also. This subtraction operation is not commutative because 5 minus 4 is not same as 4 minus 5. Division operation is not commutative. 4 divided by 2. This is 2 and this is 1 by 2. Okay, so this is 2 and this is 1 by 2. And you can notice exponentiation. This is also not commutative. So these operations are not associative. These operations are not commutative. Okay, now let's see what about this question. So here you have S is any set and we define this operation we are defining and we are saying that, okay, so uh, this, we are saying that star of A comma B, remember binary operation is a function, 
this we already know that binary operation is a function so binary operation on set s this is a function from s cross s to s it will take two elements of s and it will give another element of s so this binary operation is defined like this a star of a comma b that is a so can i say this is associative and can i say this is commutative this is definitely not commutative okay so this operation is definitely not commutative these two things are same so if i ask you can i say that a star is associative so why this is not commutative because you can notice that one star two this is not same as two star one what is one star two you can notice a star b is equal to a so in this question clearly you can notice in this question a star b is equal to a this is the operation given to you so one star two that is basically one uh, that is one star two that is basically one okay because a star b is equal to a and two star one that is basically two and you can notice they are not same so this is not commutative what can you say about associative can i say this is associative for associative we have to check this that if you have three elements okay this is what we have to check for associative can i say that this whether you do this first star first or whether you do this second star first can i say they are same so this is the question now you can notice a star b this is equal to a okay so a star b that will be equal to a then what is a star c that will be equal to a what is b star c that will be b and what will be a star b that will be a so you can notice yes they are same so associative property is satisfied yes so yes this is associative but this is not commutative so this binary operation you cannot this binary operation is associative but this is not commutative okay and notice that if you have if your operation is not associative then you cannot write like this so for example this subtraction operation just notice this subtraction you know that this subtraction is not associative we already know this is not associative because this is not associative so you cannot write like this for example 5 minus 4 minus 7 this expression you cannot write okay this is this is ambiguous operation this statement is ambiguous because remember this subtraction is not associative so that is the reason this is ambiguous why this is ambiguous because okay if i do like this then this is different from if i do like this okay so both of them are different means if i calculate this first subtraction first then that is different from when i calculate this second subtraction first okay so these two are different so that is the reason okay i can say this is ambiguous okay this is ambiguous so i can say if your operation is not associative then you cannot write then remember you cannot write like this okay so because this is ambiguous so we should put parenthesis okay we should put parenthesis yes you can write like this like this you can write you can put parenthesis this is correct okay this is correct or you can write like this this is also correct okay but you should you cannot write like this directly you cannot write okay so i can say if you have subtraction operation then you can this is ambiguous but remember if you have addition operation if i give you addition operation then this is not ambiguous if i give you addition operation then you can you okay there is no there is no problem if you have addition operation so because addition operation is associative we already know this is associative so i can write like this okay this is not ambiguous because addition operation is associative so this is not ambiguous why this is not ambiguous because these two things are same okay so whether you do this first or addition first whether you do this first addition first or you do this second addition first both are basically same so this is the idea so if your operation is associative then you can write like this so you can remove the parenthesis okay so if you are removing the parenthesis it basically means that okay this operation is associative so remember only for associative operation only for associative operation you can write like this only for associative operation this is correct okay if you have not associative operation if your operation is not associative then this statement this statement is ambiguous then this statement is ambiguous and you should not write like this because if you have not associative operation then this statement is different from this statement okay so this is the idea so for associative operation this you can do okay without parenthesis you can write okay so for example you can notice that you can write like this a multiplied a multiplied by a uh, like okay for example i can write like this 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 6 this is correct there is no ambiguity okay but you cannot write like this for example 2 divided by 4 divided by 6 this you cannot write why this you cannot write because this is different from this this value and this value these are two different values 
okay so that is the idea so i can say this you can definitely write and this expression is ambiguous and this expression you should not write because it is ambiguous okay so this is my uh, this is the final point so if your operation is associative you can remove the parenthesis there is no need to put the parenthesis but if your operation is not associative then you have to put the parenthesis okay so this op this expression you can write or this expression you can write okay so in the next video we will solve some questions on associative and commutative property